In the heart of Kitengela town, 25 kilometers south of Kenya's capital Nairobi, this vegetation dotting the landscape first appeared four years ago. It's a grass developed by the Chinese called Junkao. Chinese state media describes it as magic grass. Chinese entrepreneur Jack Liu grows Junkao grass in Kenya and sells it to farmers here. Junkao grass is tall and erect. It's a hybrid from 38 kinds of varieties of grasses. Liu says Junkao can survive even in the harshest of climate conditions, provided it has irrigation. Dairy farmer Stephen Mwangi started feeding it to his cows a year ago. They are growing how they are doing very fast, growing very fast. They are putting weight like uh, a kilo a, a day when you start feeding them. Mwangi says Junkao provides more nutrients for his cattle. He noticed dairy production has also increased. When compared to other types of fodder he's used in the past, he says Junkao has a greater yield than Napier grass, a common fodder. He harvests the grass at least five times a year. Kenya can only produce 40% of its fodder needs, the government estimates. Six African Union countries met in February to discuss fodder supplies challenges. Pockets of farmers in Kenya are looking to Junkao as a solution. Liu sells silage of fermented grass at $7 a bag. He also sells stems at 12 cents each for planting. Farmers say Junkao is cheaper than the alternative Napier grass. Junkao grass can be used for uh, cattle, uh, sheep and goat, uh, poultry, even fish. Particularly Junkao grass because of its high crude protein uh, used for dairy farming, it helps increasing uh, milking about 30 up to 50 percent, reducing the fodder cost over 50 percent. In 2021, the Kenya Plant Health Inspectorate Service, a regulatory body, allowed Liu's company to add more fields and expand to grow Junkao grass after ruling out the risks of pests and invasive species. But some scientists are urging caution and say solving one challenge could lead to another problem. Ornithologist John Musina worries cultivating Junkao will interfere with biodiversity. Half of our bird species in Kenya occur in our rangelands. Now, if you convert large chunks of these rangelands into Junkao grass fields, even if they are small holdings that multiply and uh, you know, change the landscape of our rangelands, then immediately what you've done is that you have reduced the habitat available for the native species of plants and animals. And uh, this loss of habitat coupled with degradation of this habitat means that there is biodiversity loss. A solution is not to depend on just one kind of grass, says botanist Joyce Jeffwa. We might have to look at how we can integrate our natural uh, grass, indigenous grass, like buffalo grass is also good for livestock. So if you have bands of junkau grass intercropped with uh, indigenous grass, that might reduce the risks of losing the rangeland biodiversity or even the farmland biodiversity. With climate change and drought ravaging parts of the country, some Kenyan farmers like Mwangi are embracing Junkao as a lifeline for their livestock. Francis Ontomwa, VOA News, Kajiado, Kenya.